But before I go to the business of the night, uh, let me talk briefly. I tend to talk about this topic next week. Uh, talking about, um, I mean, I see a lot of stuff this day online uh, about how to make your vagina, um, how do I put it? How to make it sweet. Yeah, that's a word. How to make it sweet, how to make it delicious, how to make it irresistible. So I get a lot of stuff like that. I, I stumble on these things online and I be like, what is going on? So people, just as guys are going extra miles to drink different kind of concussion just to, um, to be able to last longer in bed, men are doing a lot these days. Like I don't envy the men. I don't envy you guys at all. I mean... If you tell a man now that, oh yeah, go and drink, um, put kerosene and something together and tell the men to drink that this is going to make you to last longer in bed, I think men are going to drink it. They are doing so much just to satisfy the women. And I think that's a common knowledge. But it, it seems as if it's only the guys that are doing a lot. But I think recently I noticed that women are also doing so much, especially when it, co it comes to, when it comes to trying to make the vagina irresistible. And I see a lot of stuff online. Maybe I don't know what to call them, whether they are jazz or whether they are juju or whether they are aphrodisiacs, something that will make your vagina to be irresistible, delicious, exciting and sweet. So I see all of this online and I tend to talk about it probably next week. I, I intend to talk about it, how to probably I'll call it how to make your vagina irresistible. But the point I need, to, I want to make uh, as my introduction tonight is to talk to people, women who are doing so much about their vagina, trying to insert this, insert that, rub this, drink this. Like everything you drink, it will have, it will reflect in your vagina, make it sweeter, make it tighter, and make it irresistible. The man will have sex with you and will not be able to leave you. I tell you guys, if you have been doing these things, you have been using all this, I don't know what you call it, tiger nuts, whatever. If they have been working for you, like, so I actually believe in natural herbs, seriously. They work. They work. But. The way we are going about it these days is what I don't understand. So if you have been using all of these things and it's, it's been working for your vagina, it's making your vagina to be sweet, irresistible, delicious, I think what is happening to you is your faith. Sometimes if you have faith, is that powerful? Like, should I call it faith or should I call it um, mindset? You know, okay, talking clinically now. Let me call it the state of your mindset. If you believe that, <laughs> I mean, with, 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 if you set your mind on something, and if you believe it, anything could happen. That's the point. So for so many of you, I think it's your faith or it's your belief or it's your mindset that is actually working. I don't think all of these things that you are swallowing or drinking or rubbing, and then you are paying one million, two million to people to make your vagina irresistible. I actually don't think you are, they are working. I actually, probably next week people could call me and tell me about these things. If you have used all these things that they are selling everywhere, use this one to make your vagina irresistible, the man would not be able to go away. I really wish I could uh, throw this open. Maybe I'm going to come with a guest next week and throw this open and ask you, ladies, if you have been stretching certain things in your vagina, you have been rubbing certain concussion, or you've been drinking certain things, and, and then your husband or your man has been able to make love to you, and have been saying, oh, something is different, and all of that, you know? I would like to hear from you, really. All right, so tonight, I'm going to be talking about, so that's my introduction. I actually don't think all these things you are working has a way, or has anything to do with how irresistible your vagina is going to be. So, Next week, I'll be talking to you about how to make your vagina irresistible, like the real way, the right thing to do, not uh, drink this, drink that, and rub this, and rub that that you are doing. Most of the time when you rub all these things, 
what they do to you is alter the pH balance of your vag vagina. Now, the truth of the matter is, I've said that a lot. I remember I took a topic about how to have a healthy vagina on this show for almost two weeks. Because I got, I was getting a lot of messages from men telling me, Dr. Tolu, my wife's vagina is not smelling nice, it's not looking good, it's not attractive. And I don't know how to tell her. I don't know what to do. So I get that a lot at a point. I was getting that a lot at a point and I decided to talk about it. So I actually did a very robust topic on vagina, on how to have a healthy vagina. I think that is what you need, right? Now, and I remember when I was talking about this, I mentioned the fact that your vagina is a self-cleansing organ. That's the truth. So if you can carry, <laughs> I mean, if you can place your vagina, like just place it in front of the AC and the AC is just blowing you. You do not have to go out. You do not have to sweat. You don't have to wear tight, wear pants and all of that. Your vagina could be good. You do not have to menstruate. You do not have to probably have sex. You know, you just clean your vagina. Then you stay in one place. Your vagina will just be healthy. Will be clean, will be taking care of itself. The reason why you have a vagina problem is because you are putting your vagina to use, and sincerely speaking, your vagina is doing so much penetration, procreation, menstruation. Uh, name it, the vagina is doing so much, and um, so all these things are the things that are, are probably that are actually altering the. Uh, pH balance of your vagina under normal circumstances, your vagina is supposed to be healthy and be taking care of itself. Now, when you now put now, when you most of the time, when you now put you now, when you doubt you, you put different kind of chemicals, you try to insert this, you try to drink that. Haven't you noticed that sometimes you eat certain kind of food and it starts it will start affecting your vagina? Take care. If, if you are very conscious of your vagina, you notice that there are certain things you take, instantly you start feeling it down there. So most of these things that you are drinking and rubbing, what they do to you is alter the pH balance of your vagina. And when they do that, your vagina will start having problems. So many of you, you think you are doing yourself a lot of good. You think you want your vagina to be tight and irresistible, but you are damaging your vagina. Because when you introduce all this strange stuff, uh, external... <coughs> stops into your vagina they alter the ph balance and you start having all this vagina problem that you are battling with so what do you do to make your vagina irresistible what do you do to make your vagina sweet that's what i intend to talk about last week and that is actually my introduction tonight you should stop putting everything inside your vagina the vagina will take care of itself and because you are if you are not using it there will be no problem but because you use your vagina for a lot of stuff, there are certain things you could do to make the to make it healthy right not all the bubble to go so i'll be talking about how to make now not how to have a heavy vagina but the sweet sweet thing yes i'm how to make your vagina sweet i'm going to be talking about it next week all right but tonight i'm talking about how to make a man propose remember i talked about how to toast a woman on tuesday so tonight for so many ladies this is a problem like i know a lot of folks will feel like uh-uh <clears throat> what's a big deal but i tell you I get this a lot of time from young, especially teenagers, you know, there are just, I don't know, you know, people are about 16, 17, 18, 19, that, are ju they are, that have just started dating. They have a way of sending messages to me on social media, you know, like the Totolu, um, I, I know I love him, you know, and uh, you, you want to have sex, how do I prove to him that I love him without having sex with him? How do I know where, they, I mean, for some, you can imagine teenagers, I mean, somebody that is 17, 18, <laughs> and then you're already thinking about marriage, you know? I think most of us were like that. I mean, when we're growing up, I mean, you're already thinking, the person, you're just 16, come on. And you're already thinking, oh, you're going to marry this person. It works at times but <laughs> you will agree with me that it's not so common i mean why would you be dating for nine years for ten years you know so uh, i remember a very common story anyway let me not go there because because of my time all right so um so the point is it's a very common it's a very common this question is very common among ladies 
how do I like if how do I know what we are doing? How do I make him to propose? Even if it's not, you know, directly like that, how do I make him to take the uh, relationship to the next level? Every woman wants wedding. You know, you know the beautiful wedding ceremony, the pam 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 pam, the wedding dresses and fat. No thanks to the way uh, wedding is uh, is now like carnival. You know, wedding ceremonies like 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 carnival these days, you know. So women actually, women want to, you know, witness all of this and be a part of this. And so you can imagine you are dating someone and you don't know what is happening. I tell you, this is a very common question. Women are always asking themselves, asking like, how do, and the problem is you don't want to even appear desperate. I mean, it's very common here. Like, I don't want him to think I'm desperate. I don't want him to think I'm begging him to marry me. So you are confused. You are thinking, what do I do? How do I make him to propose? Right? I get a lot of messages, emails on this particular topic. Like I said, especially from teenager, even though it's not in my place to crucify teenagers, but at least most of us can identify with such feelings, you know, at that age. But what, what these teenagers need is proper guidance and counseling. And um, maybe one of these days I'm going to be talking about that, you know, maybe as a topic. Like, but, but there's something in every woman, I talked about it on Tuesday, that crave for love. It is not weakness, but should rather be seen as part of the feminine, beautiful nature, right? You know, it, it's, it's, it's a beautiful nature. nature. It's not weakness for women to want to be loved, to want to be pets, you know. That's why I call it sweet nothing, you know. You, you want your husband, you want your man to tell you, baby, you're beautiful, I love you. You just want a man to warm up to you. And um, so uh, uh, it's very, very common. And these days, you know, <clears throat> no thanks to the economy, the guys are struggling to take it to the next level. And the ladies are confused. What do I do? How do I make him propose? How do I even know what we are doing in this relationship? How do I make him take it to the next level? After maybe a few years or a few months of dating, right? Um, all right. Now, for sometimes, for ladies, let me quickly say this. We, we sometimes see the handwriting on the wall that this relationship is heading nowhere. But most of we don't want to accept the facts, right? If you search, search yourself deeply, you will understand if you are the only one in that relationship or not. There are questions, I mean, there are pointers to make you know if you are the only one in that relationship or not. All right? Now, if you have been in this kind of relationship and you are confused, so many of you that have been writing to me, tonight let me just give you a few practical tips that could help you to make him propose. Now, the first thing you need to do is to work on yourself as a lady. Before a man can see you as a wife, you also need to see yourself as one. Package yourself physically, mentally, spiritually, financially, emotionally. <clears throat> I'm not saying you should be a millionaire or a billionaire, but you must position yourself to be any man's dream. Like, haven't you, I mean, I've said that several years on this show, haven't you noticed that? Why you are complaining that your man is not taking it to another level? You are complaining men as cars. There are some there, there are some ladies that are saying, Oh, I really don't know which one to pick. All of them are just after me. I don't know which of the guy I'm gonna get married to. Haven't you noticed that there are some some guys, some ladies that their boyfriend are always worried, always begging, always wishing they are going to even be the one begging them that please, you know, there are some kind of ladies that Everyone will wish, you know, to be their husband. That's the truth. Now, okay, now this is not like, it, it does not mean that it must work 100%. Do you understand? But these are tips that I think could actually work for you. Now, haven't you noticed that? Sincerely speaking, there's a level you package yourself to as a lady. Everybody will wish, like I wish I could get married to this kind of a person. Like physically, you are there, you know, you dress well, you know, the kind of clothes that suits you. You know, your body shape and you know, the kind of clothes that suits you, you know, that is, uh, uh, probably enhances your selling points. <laughs> if I have to put it that way. And of course, you, you package yourself mentally. 
you know they are discussing business uh you are there they are talking uh sports you are there they are talking current affairs you are there you know you package yourself spiritually you know you are there you are you are just sincerely you will agree with me guys and you know socially you are there and you're not like you are begging you know you are not like you know you just work on yourself you package yourself to a level and if there are 50 ladies in a room and there are 50 guys to pick a wife all the 50 guys want to pick you it is possible I know some people will be like, ah, it doesn't matter. There are even people that are packaged. But you understand that this actually work, right? Now, have you ever thought about this kind of ladies? What made them so thick? It is called packaging. Every man, even women, like better things. That's the truth. Nobody wants to be friends with losers. You need to work on yourself. Package yourself in every area of your life. Be the best any man can get. It is actually doable. And it's a matter of determination. And of course, you could... I, I mean, th there are some women that guys are feeling like, gosh, I, I wish. I don't, want, I don't want another person to take this lady from me. I don't want another person to be that lady. Go and look for quality of an irresistible woman. And be that woman. Package yourself and walk towards it. It's possible. And where the problem is, if you do is if you don't realize this, uh, realize this thing at the right time. But if you can realize at the right time, you do it at the early stage, not when you are now forty or you know, it might be difficult. But if you find yourself, you know, I mean, you are lucky to listen to this kind of show, and it's like you know, bringing you back to the reality, and you're like, wow, I need to package myself. Sincerely speaking. You're going to see the result. So the first thing to do to make a man to propose is to be irresistible. Be that woman. Be that lady that every man will want to take to their mama. That's the number one. Number two, consider your self-esteem. Now, even if you package yourself from now till eternity, if your self-esteem is not intact, there's going to be a problem. Now, this is it. Self-esteem issue could actually be very massive. And it's something you have to make deliberate effort to keep working on. You need to keep working on it. You need you need to be intact because if your self-esteem is not intact, even if a guy is walking towards you, is trying to worship you, is trying to probably, you are not going to see yourself that way. The truth is nobody can see you better than the way you see yourself. Now, there's difference between pride and low self-esteem. Um, I mean, ha um, having is, uh, a healthy self-esteem. That's the truth. See yourself as being good enough for any man. Boldly tell yourself that any man that loses you has lost the best wife material. That's why I tell women that are always whining and crying because a man left you for crying out loud. It's his loss. If you know whom you are, it's his loss. So package yourself to that level. Ah, and it's a common saying that, of course, the way you think is the way you are. So think of yourself. Th think highly of yourself. Think as your, of yourself. I mean, sincerely, if you know what it means to be a woman. <laughs> I'm not even talking about now. Uh, talking about even making a man to propose now. I'm diverting a little bit. If you understand what it means to be a woman, everything about you, everything God has placed in your body is to make, is to, is to make, I don't know how to explain it, is to make a man dance to your tune really you know some people i don't know what they call it some people call it bottom power maybe it's something like that. i'm not saying have sex with men but i'm saying that as a woman you are very powerful you know that's why when they say the man is the head the woman is the neck that control the head men has the power of authority women has the power of influence influence is powerful more powerful than authority only if you understand the power you carry as a woman you will understand that you can get any man to be your husband. That's the truth. Funny enough, you know, the bad girls in court, they understand these things. It's mostly the good girls that really don't understand. <laughs> and that's why most of the time you notice that it's the good girls that are always in the matchmaker's office. All right. And then, okay, um... Okay, so my number three points, you want him to propose, get a life. Like, you know, this is might not look direct, 
you know, but there's a way, you know, you drop a little here, a little there, a little there, and then we all come together and then f um, and form the 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 uh, solution you're actually looking for. So the truth is you need to have a life. I assume that you are dating or you are cutting already, and the issue is how to make your man take the bull step and say, okay, will you marry me? But at this point, don't be a pest. The truth is men hate stalkers. Men, like I've said that, said that severally, let them be. I'm not saying you're not going to be romantic. I'm not saying you're not going to, going to work on investing in that relationship. But please, do not be do not be the only person investing in that relationship. Don't be the pest. Don't make it look like it's a die, do or die thing. It shouldn't be. You need to strike a balance, you know, between your love life and your personal life. Don't always whine, grind, and crawl around him every time, uh, you know, uh, in the morning. Like, as in, sometimes even when you are, I tell ladies, even when you are not busy, form busy. Even when you don't have anything to do, form like you have. Because men don't want, in the morning, she will call you, uh, Jane, uh, I mean, he will call you, uh, Jane, what's up? How are you today? I'm fine, no, oh, I'm just here lying down thinking about you in the morning, fine. In the afternoon, he's calling you again. Oh, babe, what's up? How's your day going? My darling, I'm here, oh, I'm in the house, and I'm just thinking about you. All you do in your life, in the night when he's calling you, you are thinking, even if you are thinking about him, pretend. You need to have a life to make a man take it to the next level. You need to get busy. You need to hang out with your female friend. You need to have a life. It's very important. Even as married people, we need to understand this particular principle. Because it's, it's like it, it will make the man keep seeing value, keep seeing something to look forward to, keep wanting to take it further. Keep thinking like when you are hanging out with your friend, another guy might see you there. When you are alone, I mean, the person is calling you in the morning like, oh, Jane, what's up? Oh, and like, oh, good morning, my love. How is your day? You know? Oh, I have a beautiful day. Ah, my day is going to be busy today. I'm going to have a lot of errands. You know, I'm doing this. I'm doing that to run and all of that. Even if you're not busy, form busy. You shouldn't be the lady that is always there. You know, if he calls you, you know, ah, she'll be there now. Is it not Jane? Ah, she does nobody now. She's not going anywhere. Don't be that woman. Put him on his toes, you know? be that woman that is that is just have a life have a life if you don't have a life you can't get your man that's the truth but if you have a life you will put him on his toes and he want to do the needful on time right if you have no life even as married woman outside your marriage even if it's just five percent with friends and family you will chalk your marriage you you would mount pressure on your marriage you need to learn to balance things off and it's very very important as women right if you want him to propose get a life don't 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 make it look like without him you're going to die even if that is the truth don't 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 rub it on his face don't make him know pretend another thing you could do is to meet his friends and, fam and family make effort make deliberate conscious effort to get close to his friends and family now make sure he's genuinely introducing you to people that he knows that people he's close to People in his life. And when he's trying to introduce you, watch his tune, watch his body language, watch, watch the kind of signals that he's giving out. It's very important. Because, and you need to also find out, you know, when he's introducing you to these people, find out if that is the way you use it. Because some guys will introduce all the women in this world to their family members and they will still not marry any one of them. So you need to be sure you need to check their body language when it's introducing you to them. So it is very important to make sure you get to I mean you strategize and you get to meet his friends, get to meet his family especially when he, when he wants you around and then you are making extra effort to do this. It's just going to make things to happen very quickly. Another thing you could do is to invite him to family functions. You know, your family functions. Imagine if you're inviting a guy, a guy. I mean, every time you keep inviting him, he keeps giving you one excuse or the other. I tell you, that guy might actually not be interested in you. I might not want to take things to the next level. But you want him to take things to the next level. You know this guy is genuinely into you. And you just want him to pop the question on time. You could start inviting him to family functions. Your sister is getting married. Your, your dad is having his birthday. 
they don't mind. I mean, they know that you're already dating and they bring him along. In fact, before you know it, you will not be able to, you wouldn't want to disappoint those people, especially like I said, when you know is hint. I mean, I mean, he is into you. Now, imagine when they say, okay, your family, for example, this is a very common one among the Yoruba. They're having a shwebi, right? Maybe it's your brother that is getting married and then they are having, you know, these guys, these are shwebi guys and they are selling maybe caps and all of that and you brought his cap. Like, oh, babe, I brought your cap. Check his body language. Is he willing to wear the same cap and join those people, you know, warming up to your family already? Check it out. So get those things and bring for him. Like, babe, my uncle is getting married and they've done their shabby. Bring his own for him. Watch his body language and see. This is going to be, I mean, for, uh, funny enough, you're able to do all these little things. It's going to start making him to get comfortable, you know, among your family. And you, unconsciously, it will start warming up to married life, right? And then another thing you could do is to drop hints. So you can get wedding magazines you, and drop it on the table the next time you are visiting. Watch his action and see what he's thinking or what he's doing when you do such thing or what he's feeling or his, his reaction when you are doing such. You know, talk about the possibility of changing accommodation. Like, uh, babe, you know what? Um, I'm just thinking uh, maybe after wedding, uh, after marriage, maybe, you know, you, you know, just, for example, you are living in a separate place. Uh, maybe you are living in the mainland and she is living on the island, for example. You could start dropping hints. You know, maybe you have opportunity to talk about mainland and island. And, uh, you could like, uh, when when we get married or when, you, you don't even want, you might not want to before. Like, uh, when I get married, I would like to move to the island. Uh, you know, if you say something like that to a guy who lives on the island and you live on the mainland, I think the guy might want to be like, oh, okay, that's a good one. Maybe we can even use this kind of, maybe, do you like this estate I'm staying? You know, watch out for those kind of conversations. Drop hints. Talk about weddings. Talk about, oh, if you can find your way to, you know, when there was, a, I mean, there is a particular wedding program that is showing on TV. Just tune in there when you know it's going to be around. And then have a discussion around the TV show and see his reaction and his point. And it's uh, taught towards wedding. Funny enough, like I said, the more you warm it up, warm him up to stuff like this, the more he get comfortable unconsciously, the more he start desiring. You know, his brain will start accepting. You know, you are dropping it unconsciously. And his brain is accepting it. So drop hints. Get wedding magazine. Tune into wedding channel. Talk about wedding. Talk about changing location. Talk, talk about buy, buying a bigger car after wedding. And hear what he's going to say. Now, don't be desperate. Now, I say this a lot in my seminar. Sex will not keep a man and pregnancy will not make him stay. Now, if you are trying too hard, you know, to be good, to be, you know, you want to be a tiger in bed to convince him to marry you. Sincerely speaking, I think it doesn't work all the time. In fact, most time it won't work, especially these African men, you know. So forget this thing about... Um, I want you are, don't try too hard. That's this that's that's this point. Don't be desperate. You know, you, you know, some people will be like, ah, me, I want to just be like a mumu, you know, I'll just be falling. You know, you remember coming to America, you know, that kind of stuff. You know, everything is saying I want to be doing. By the time I get married to him, I'm gonna show him Pepe. I'm gonna show him my true color. I mean, these days that people are getting divorced two, three months after marriage. That might not work for you. So there's no point to, to pretend to be whom you are not and be taking what you don't like just because you want him to get married to you. Don't be desperate. Be yourself. Because guys has a way of sensing desperacy and he has a way of scaring them off. Right? So do not be desperate. And then number eight, don't believe lies. Now, there are lots of men, lies that could make you to be desperate, that could make you to misbehave. Like, oh, men are more than women. There are so many women, uh, ten, 10 women will hold on to one man, and then you will not find a, a husband unless you become a slave, or you visit a spiritualist, and then you drink concussion, and then you rob this, blah, blah, blah. Stop believing all these lies. Do not allow the wrong statistics that people are pushing out there to make you to do the wrong thing. Right? Uh, okay.
Okay, so I really don't want to delve into this. Oh, you know, for people that have moved from one spiritual list to the other, and then you, they tell you rob this, rob that. Most of these girls that are catching all the fine boys in your area, they are not robbing anything. That's the truth. So don't believe lies because if you believe lies, it might not you might not be able to take it. You might not be able to take the necessary steps that you are supposed to take because they are telling you, oh, oh, that person is not the right person for you. Oh, this one, you just get confused. So please be focused and do not believe lies. And then another thing you could do is to have a frank talk. You see, <laughs> I tell ladies a lot of time, if you are in a relationship and they're asking you, what are you doing with that guy? And the only question you could, the only answer you could give is, I don't know. I really don't even know. Then something is wrong. That could be a pointer that something is wrong with that relationship. Right? You know, I read a lot of articles online telling ladies not to ask. That if you ask a man, I mean, anyway, these days women are actually popping the questions women are proposing. I really don't know if you are a guy. Maybe you guys can actually call me tonight and tell me. If you are a guy, would you want to be proposed to? Would you want your woman to propose to you? I think these are topics I really want. I would really like to talk about. Would you want a woman to propose to you? Nigerian men, tell me. I think one of these days I'll make this thing's question. W would you want a woman to propose to you? And ladies too that are using all the bobo tibo on your vagina. Are they really working for you? Are uh, all these vagina sweetener? Vagina sweetener. Are they working? I think these are things I want us to talk about. Alright, so have a talk. Like the easiest way to know if a man, to make a man, to know what you are doing in the relationship and to make a man to take your re relationship to the next level is to talk about it. Now, I tell ladies a lot of time, it is not what you say that makes you cheap or makes you sound desperate. It is what you do. Imagine you are a lady that is intact. Rem remember all the points that I've talked about. You are intact. You are cool. You are brilliant. You are beautiful. You are well packaged. You are lively. You have a life of your own. You are a happy girl. You are a jolly good fellow. Everybody want to be around you. All the men want to take you to mama. And the man is even worried already. I don't want somebody to take. I get this. I said a lot of men in this situation. Calling me, Dr. Tolu, please, what do I do? I don't want to lose her. I don't want another person. So there are men like that that are always on their toes because of their ladies. They don't want another person to take her away from them. Find out if you are a lady that is struggling with taking your relationship to the next level. Like I said, find out what these ladies are doing differently, this category of ladies. What make them think? Now, do you are you telling me that this kind of a lady... That a man is even worried, I don't want to lose, is going to talk to a man and ask the guy, babe, what are we doing in this relationship? And you think the man is going to think she's cheap? No. So I think it has, whether you, a man is going to think you are cheap or you are desperate, it has a lot to do with your personality, your characteristics already in that relationship. I mean, especially when you even, I mean, <laughs> when you, there's a level you place yourself when you ask a guy, what are we doing? The guy will even be the one to say, babe, please, you know, I'm just, I just want to do this. Can you just wait for me? So the easiest way to know, no big deal is to ask. Babe, when are we taking this to the next level? What are we doing? Right? Very important. And then number 10, I want to finish this really. That's why I'm, talk to a counselor. Now, funny enough, this is one area we, we are not getting it in this part of the world. Even couples, even when couples for couples counseling or couples therapy, especially when it has to be do with sex therapy, when couples come, I could tell you as an experience, like I do minimum of 20 hours of counseling sessions every week. This, this, it's so hectic, really. And I'm going to tell you that from my experience, when couples come in, and they want to talk, especially Nigerians. I'm not talking about maybe people are expatriates who are not Nigerians. But Nigerians, when they sit down, and when you put them together and you want to listen to them, you won't get anything from them. Very rare. And I don't blame anybody. It's because of the way we are wired, the way we've been brought up, the way we've been trained. But if you separate them as individuals, you just start seeing the triggers, the problem with the marriage, the issues they are, they are dealing with. And it's going to make it very easy for you to solve the problem. 
Now, the same thing applicable for to so many of us as young ladies. We are so afraid. We can't even ask, babe, what are we doing? And even if the guy is confused, even, may, sometimes the guy might even be worried. Might not even know, maybe she, he should ask. Because he's even thinking, I don't even know, maybe she's going to say yes or no. Most of the time, all you need to do is just to schedule an appointment with a counselor. So, sometimes we think it is only people that are married that need counseling. It is not so. If you are in a relationship, you might need a counselor to find out what is going on in that your relationship and if you want to take it to the next level. Sincerely speaking, if you are in a relationship and you come to my office, you want to analyze your relationship, you want to find out what is going on. At the end of your session, if that relationship is going to move to the next level, you are going to know. If it's something that is wasting your time, you are going to know. And if it's something you are going to be saying goodbye at that point, you, are, you will know. And if it's something that you need help, and therapy to help you to get over your heartbreak. We will do it for you right there and there and design a program for you. So you can move on with your life and stop wasting your life with time wasters. So sometimes you need to book an appointment with a counselor to help you to analyze your relationship. It is very, very important. And of course, do, we even, do I need to mention premarriage counseling? I could talk about that from now till eternity, really. But anyway, that's not the point for tonight. But you need to talk to a counselor who could help you to analyze and tell you what is going on with the The counselor will tell you this guy is deceiving you. And it's, she's going to say it in the presence of the guy. I don't think you, are, you want to marry this person from... And it's going to be very obvious. There's no way you can you can hide. Especially when the counselor knows her, um, her skills. There's no way you can hide. That's the truth. And then number 11, know when to throw in the towel. Very important. A broken relationship is better than a broken marriage. Like I said, forget these time wasters. If you want to take, thi take thi um, things to the next level and you are seeing the handwriting on the wall that this person is actually not interested in you, this person is toying with your heart. You see, this kind of relationship could be very tasking. Relationship where you are the only one investing, it could be drain. It will drain you emotionally. It will, not, it will drain you financially because you will not be able to perform at your optimal level. If you find yourself in this kind of relationship, you need to get up. Know when to throw in the towel so that you not be the only one in the relationship. And then number two, I'll be a happy person. The truth of the matter is, even as a lady, I think I mentioned that earlier, nobody wants to be a part of a dull life. Even if you are a, nobody wants to be part of a dull life. Even if you are a nerd or you are a melancholic person, you probably might need to go for counseling and work on yourself and start developing your personality. If you are a jolly good fellow, like you are happy, when people are looking at you, they'll be like, oh, this person's life is so beautiful. I'm not talking about the fake lives on social media. But, you know, let's talk about people that, I mean, people that you are dating. Uh, you see where having a life is coming to play on this particular point. Now you have a life, you are always you are always happy, you are with your friends, you know, your life is beautiful, your life is always... The guy is looking at me like, I wish I could be part of this beautiful life. That's the truth. Be a happy person. Everyone wants to be part of a happy life. And then number 13, enjoy your single life when it lasts, while it lasts. Do not make it look like all the... You see, if you want to take your relationship to the next level, you need to enjoy... You see, I know this could be very difficult because the society could mount a lot of pressure on you and then will, could condition your psyche in a certain way where, where you start becoming moody and start looking down on yourself and you are not even going to start enjoy. You know, enjoy the single life that you have. Please, if you enjoy your life, you are going to be happy. You are going to attract happy people. People will want to be part of that life. You know, there is something about, I don't know if I should describe this. I want you to notice this thing before that you probably you are saying, let me say you are saying, staying in a, even if it's a flat or face me up, but you are saying, you know, you have neighbors and then you are planning in your mind, you know, next week. You know, you're planning, hmm, I'll start selling, I'll start selling sweets. Let me put it that way. I'll start selling sweets in front of this house very soon. You're not saying it out, but you, you, you know, in your mind, you keep thinking about it. You keep planning, you keep, um, you know, uh, designing how you want the business to look like. 
So you kept going on and on about it. You're not saying it out. You're just thinking in your head. You're just planning. You just notice that probably maybe after like three weeks or one month, why you are still planning? Your neighbor will just come out and start selling that sweet in front of your house. That thing you are planning to do. Now, there's a research that says that people around us, I think about four, uh, four, is it four miles away? Or I can't remember, but the point is people who have daily encounter with us has a way of catching whatever it is we are thinking, especially when it comes to um, um, uh, um, something that you think a lot about. I mean, you think about a lot. Something you ponder on a lot of time. Something you think about a lot of time. You know, something you're always deliberating. Something that is bothering you, that is worrying you. There's a way people around you could start getting the signal. And they might stop. That is why it's very, you know, remember this common saying, happy wife, happy life. Funny enough, apart from the literary meaning, the truth is, if you have a negative mood, it has a way of spreading. You know, it will just be spreading and be spreading in your family, in your marriage. It will spread to your children. It will spread to your husband. As a woman, that is why you need to catch, you know, those negative emotions when they are coming. You need to catch them and deal with them as fast as possible. Because if you don't, they will affect the people around you. Now, if you allow people that are telling you, ah, Moji or Janet oh Amara when are you going to get married you know people that are mounting pressure on you people that are looking down on you people that are talking about you and when are we eating rice and, and you know if you allow them to get to you there's a way your life becomes sad because, I mean this thing is very tricky but you know I don't envy people in this situation your life becomes sad even though you might want to be trying to put up a good face but because all these negative things they are saying is getting to you, there's a way to send negative signal to people around you. And when a man is walking up to you and want to talk to you or probably want to even say, oh, how do we take this relationship? Because in your head, you're already worried, you are dejected, you are sad. The person doesn't want to be part of your life. Because every emotion you are sending out is negative, moody, my life is sad, my life is dejected, my life, that's the, that, those are the, those are those are the all the all the um all the magnetic field around you. Those are the signals that are coming out of those places. All right. So pr you need to learn to enjoy your single life while it lasts, and that is the only way to attract the right man and make the right man to take it to the next level. Now let him know you have options. Now this one is also very uh, tricky. So, so you should not make him. It's a bit tricky, right? You should not overdo it or scare him. But you should make him know that you have options. You should make him know. He should have, he should, he should sense it. He should get the vibe that there are other people that are actually interested in you. Very, very important. Make sure you send that signal stylishly. Don't overdo it so you don't scare him. But make him, let him know. That there are other people that if he's not doing the right thing at the right time, there are other people who are ready to do it. All right. So I'm going to leave you with those 14 points. And I just hope you find them interesting. Right. All right. Not sure I can play music. <laughs> so I'm going to be going to the phone line. Okay. Um, let's see. Or should I go to Instagram? Okay. Let me do Instagram. Uh, so go to and uh, send me your questions. I can't call the phone line for you. I cannot play music. But if you have the phone line, let me see. I think I should have Nigerian info phone line of art. Uh, zero one. I can't remember. Pardon me. <laughs> Wait. Should be somewhere. All right, guys. So I'm going to go to. Okay, so you can drop your questions and comments for me on Twitter. Twitter is Dr. Tolu underscore the fixer. Dr. Tolu is Dr. Tolu, T O L U. Dr. Tolu underscore the fixer. 
that's my um, Twitter and Instagram uh, handle. On Facebook, I'm Intimacy Clinic, right? So try try uh, all the three, and I'm going to respond to your messages, okay? So just let the comments start coming in. And of course, you could drop your comment. I'm live on, on Facebook on 99.3 Nigeria Info. You could also go there and drop your comments. Uh, let's see. Um, ma, ma, ma. Okay. Okay, so I'm on Instagram trying to read your comments. Um, so you can drop your comments on Instagram under tonight's topic. Is there how to make him propose? And of course, on Intimacy Clinic on Facebook. Let me check. And people are actually calling. So let's see if I can go to the phone line. Then I will now go to Facebook. Then I'll go to Twitter. And I'll go to Instagram. Let's see. Hello. I noticed you've been calling. Hello. Dr. Tolu. Yes, boss. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, my name is Chukwe Buka. You're welcome. I can I can hear myself. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Tudu. Yes, yeah, okay, it's fine now. Yeah, my name is Chukwe Buka. Long time. Well done. Thank you. Yeah, um I can let me just quickly help you out with the lines. All right. They are zero one. Oh, two seven seven zero oh. nine nine three zero one two seven seven one nine nine three zero one two seven seven two nine nine three zero one two seven seven three nine nine three. Mm -hmm. These are the phone lines. Thank you so much, babe. Shukwe Buka. I appreciate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dr. Tulu, I mean, nice topic. Um, I, 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 I tuned in a little bit late on Tuesday. Okay. You were almost winding up. Oh. When I tuned in, I said, to dad, no, tonight, I mean, I'm just going to stay. And, I mean, it's been a while. Mm -hmm. I'll listen to you. Oh. And I will always say, God bless you for a job well done. You know, Dr. Tulu, you see, you're saving, like I would ever say, mm -hmm. a lot of marriages. Yes, you, could see, you could see couples. Oftentimes, I mean, they are shy to talk to themselves. Exactly. You could see the man sometimes will just go out and go and catch his phone. Right. Will come back and play the Reverend Father role and know what not exactly. in the house. Yeah. They won't even open up and talk to themselves. But right. with this program, yeah. I know a lot and a lot and a lot of people have kids in and then it's working, working very well. Thank you. I tell you, you Tonton. God bless you real, real Amen. good. And I'm glad Thank you, you very much. Tonight. All right. I appreciate Sleep you. Sleep tight. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, bye bye. <laughs> All right, so Shukwebuka has helped me with the number 0127 7093, 0127 7193, 0127 and 0127 Guys, you could call me anywhere, anywhere. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, painful. Please do try and call back, okay? Hello. Hello, good evening. Good morning. Oh, sorry, good morning, actually. You're welcome. Uh, you're doing well. Um, you're doing well, brother. Mm. I'm calling from Asia. Okay. Well, I think... Uh, uh, my question, actually, yeah, based on how a lady can make a guy propose to her. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. What if this lady actually you have green light that this is actually what you want and you want the same thing, but because of time. You, you're telling her to wait, and she's saying she's smelling marriage. I mean, she could sense marriage. She, marriage is all over her. She wants it. And then you, you are not ready. So I don't know. What could be done? 
You guys need to reach a compromise. You, you need to reach a compromise. So what are your reasons for not being ready? Well, the thing is that, I mean, I mean financially, you just plan, actually personally, for the man, I think maybe like in the next two years, but the lady is saying next two years is too far. Uh, um, you see, you guys could, like I said, the right thing to do is just to reach a compromise. If your reasons are genuine, she should be, and if she truly loves you, she should be reasonable enough to see that you are not lying. But another thing you should do is, if you really want to convince her, there should be roadmap. If you are saying two years, what do you want to be doing between now and the two years? Is it that in two years I'm going to just get married, money is going to come? No. Between now and the next three months, I'm going to achieve this. Between now, let there be timeline um, and then let there be uh, achievements or, or roadmap. So let there be, yeah, that's the word. Let there be a roadmap towards the two years wedding program. So maybe in six months, we are going to see your parent. In one year, we are going to do this. We are going to, you know. So let there be a roadmap and a plan towards the two years. So if you are genuine about it and the two of you could sit down and talk about it, I'm sure she's going to see reasons. But if you keep saying two years and okay, maybe in two years I'll be ready, it's beyond that. You can't just tell the lady I will be ready in two years. What are you going to be doing between now and two years? What are the plans towards the two years? Okay. All right. Thanks for calling. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Hello. I can hear you. You are live. Good morning. My name is Festus. Festus, you are welcome. So I, I really enjoy your program, but um, I want to know whose day is this a program particularly? Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yes, 11 p.m. 11 p.m. Even say if I am last um last Tuesday topic is based on um how to how to um um to say ladies. So even say if I I I really miss that topic. You missed it. Yes. You could you could go to Nigeria Info on Facebook 99.3 and and download it there. So you could listen. Okay, nine nine point three Nigeria Info on, on Facebook. Right, right. <laughs> okay, no problem. Thanks yeah, thank for you for calling. I appreciate. Okay, let me check Instagram. Anyone saying something? <laughs> um okay. All right. Okay, so let's try Facebook. Okay, let me pick this call. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. My name is Aziz. Aziz. Uh, from a You're welcome. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of have the issue with my relationship. Okay. And it's really bothering me. Shoot. So I have a girl I'm dating. Okay. And... Um, Recently, I found out we both AF, which is hmm. girl type, yeah. Mm -hmm. And she's playing along, despite that the fact that she knows we are not compatible. Mm -hmm. I'm finding it very hard to tell her that we need to break up. So I'm just trying. I'm right now. I'm playing along with it, but I'm feeling like this is not right. But I don't want to tell her that. You just need to find a way to tell her. You guys need to sit down and talk about it. Maybe, maybe you could tell her, babe, can we go online and Google examples of people who have married as, who are married as, um, yes, who has the same, uh, this kind of genotype you have? <laughs> can we go online and read about them? In fact, I think. You could even send, like, like it's a messy clinic on Facebook. That's my Facebook page. Okay. What people do is send questions to us. And then when you send questions, I post it for you and people will make comments. Now, this kind of, this is a very good strategy to use. You can compose the question like, babe, this is our issue. I just want to even uh, throw it out and hear what people is going to say about it. Okay. Right. So, if you put the question out there, I bet it with you. 99% is going to tell you don't try it. 
So I think that would be a very good way to start the conversation. So you have to strategize on how to start the conversation. I think I just gave you a very good strategy. Okay. Right. Thank you very yeah, much. Take care of yourself. Yeah. Hello. 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 Good morning. Good Hello. morning. Good morning. Yeah, my name is Favor. Favor, good morning. Yeah, I have been listening to your program and I have a complaint. Okay. But but I yeah, can I mean, get the feedback from I can okay. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, right. can you yeah, hear me yeah, now? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I'm a single mother and um I've been having issue with the father of my baby. Okay. So we are no more together. Okay. So for now, I don't have any relationship, and I have a guy from outside country, okay. and he's asking me how. Okay. So for now, I'm not doing anything well. I'm learning how to work hairdresser. Okay. So I really need to do something. I don't know what to do. I don't know to stand like your program, what you have been teaching us since. So I don't know what to do at least <coughs> to stand as a woman. So I really don't know what to do. I'm confused. But, but, I mean, you are learning something. Yeah, yeah, I'm learning. Uh, guys, I have the handbook right from uh, from my childhood. Mm -hmm. I can mm -hmm. make it very well. So I went back to it. That's For it. now, mm -hmm. I'm just I'm just doing it. I'm not doing anything. I'm not, I don't have anybody supporting me. I'm just doing it. It's, it's, I mean, it's a very good place to start. Sincerely speaking, hmm? yeah. the difference between you... And somebody, you know, uh, there could be another person in this your situation. I'll be feeling like, oh, I have somebody abroad that is asking me out. I have, uh, I, I learned hairdressing and my life could be beautiful. But it's possible for you to be in that situation and still feel hopeless. It is all in your mind. It is all, all in your state of mind. So, Favor, what I will tell you is, to shake off the dust. You have the capacity to be whatever you want to become. The fact that you are a single mother is no big deal. Really. I'm not trying to make light of it. But it's no big deal. You can still be. I and mean, a lot of people have been in that situation. And have made their life has been beautiful today. Even if you have to go and be knocking from dust to dust. I make hair. Can I make it for you? A lot of people are looking for people to make their hair. Even if you have to open it, you have a phone in your hand, you have to open an Instagram page and put like the kind of hair you do, put it there, people will start calling you. Just think out something. The first thing you need to do is to change your mindset. Your because life is not hopeless. Sorry, because due to this relationship, of it, because it was mm -hmm. a friend that introduced me to this guy. So right. due to this relationship, and I've been having issue with my there is anything connection with the guy. Right. There is me being uh, connected with him. There is talking to him. He do call. Right. When my phone was forty, he also he also uh, gave me some money to repay it. Okay. After a time, the phone got uh, got spoiled again. Okay. I immediately the little phone I have, they stole it. That is everything was somehow, as in I don't really understand. I was I'm very confused. What I just want you to know, like I said, is a favor. If you believe no. it, it, I'm not motivating you. I'm just telling you to work on your mind. Work on your mind. There is nothing you set your mind to achieve that you cannot. The difference between you and somebody that is in this same situation that you are and that is feeling like, oh, my life could be beautiful. The, I mean, there are people who nobody will even, as a single lady, nobody is going to even ask them out. So you have somebody there who is living, who is abroad, who is still interested in you. does not matter whether he is abroad or in Nigeria anyway. But at least you have a man that is interested in you. You have a handwork that you have learned. Come on, shake off the dust, change your mindset and make something good out of your life. That's what I will say to you, favor. This one is from Daniel Chidozi from my Instagram. Say, good evening, ma. Is it wrong for a woman to propose? I don't know. It's a matter of choice. Personally, I don't like it. I personally do. I mean, and I've said that over and over again on this show, why I do not support that kind of idea. But if you want to do it, if it works for you, why not? Why not? If it works for you. Hello. Hello. 
Yeah. My name is Adeshina Commander Po. Adeshina, you are welcome. You are welcome. Uh, I just want to confirm about if somebody has a problem of erection. Yeah. The weakness of erection. Yeah. So how can the person resolve the problem? Maybe a long time problem. Okay, so you could, uh, I mean, there's no one way answer to this. Your questions, a lot of things could be responsible for your erectile dysfunction issue. So the first thing you need to do is to find out why. When you find out why, then you begin to talk about how to solve the problem. That's first one. Second thing, another thing you could do is to go to the hospital and run a checkup to find out. You could talk to a neurologist. No, I know several times I attend general hospital. Okay, so and, uh, they say there's no any program for male, something like that. It's just for female. Okay, so the, the, but, but I mean they could run a test for you and tell you if your issue is is medical or not. They don't even say they don't they, say they don't have any program for male. Then you might need to check just other hospitals. Female. But I what also think you, you you might need to check another hospital. Okay, about yeah. this issue, I've sent some message for you. And then another thing you could do is to talk to a sex therapist. Very important. And of course, you could you could um, you could go to Facebook page ninety nine point three Nigeria Info and go and download. I have a topic on this, and I spoke about it for about about okay. six episodes. Okay. How to solve your erectile dysfunction issue? Okay. Right. And I, I, I'm just finding a way and consulting doctor, maybe doctor in charge, maybe way off. Okay, maybe you need a referral to a doctor, to maybe yeah. a urologist or... Yeah, really, really yeah. Much, yes. Ma. Okay, so you could send me a message on on Instagram or Facebook. I can refer you to someone. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right, so I'm taking my last call now. Yeah. All right. My last call, my last call. This number has been calling, but it's not showing. Hello? Are you there? Hello? Hello? Oh, good, good morning. Ma. Good morning, ma. Yeah, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Are you sure you are fine? Yes, ma'am. All right. You're welcome. I like your program. Thank you. You didn't tell me your name? My name is Janet. Janet. Yes. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Janet, for calling. Yes. I appreciate it. It's your good work, ma'am. Thank you, my darling. I love you so much. And you just made my night, Janet. And that's where I will be drawing the curtain. But before I go, I need to tell you about the Lagos dating party that is coming up next week, Sunday. I have said this before and I'm saying it again. Now, the reason why I do the Lagos dating party is because and uh, normally I do it every October. This is the third edition and I said it that we've been having a lot of testimonies from the past editions. Of course, I have couples now that have um, the first edition. They have a child now, right? Okay, so um, now the point is this. We put the dating party around this year this time of the year because we noticed that a lot of people are planning i mean when you in january you've written uh your goals for the year one of them is at least if not to get married to meet someone special so that you could take it to the next level in 2020 and if it, as, as as october is still looking like this is not going to work it's looking like it's not looking good you might want to take advantage of the dating party. It's going to be a proper speed dating party. So if you are, if we have 10 men in that place, we're going to be having 10 women. And those 10 men are going to talk to all the 10 women and make their choice from them. The same thing applicable to the women. So I don't think it's something you want to miss. So prepare yourself for the Lagos dating party next week, Sunday at Ikoyi. I want you guys to come out. If you are single and searching, you are single, you want to mingle, you want to meet someone. We're just going to have the speed dating. We're going to dance. And then it's going to be a nice uh, time. And I think you're going to enjoy it. So don't miss it. I don't want you guys to start being on my kid. Like, oh, Dr. Tolu, I'm single. I'm searching. Please come out for the dating party. And of course, if you want to partner with us for the dating party, you want to exhibit something, 
just talk to me. Lagos dating parties on the 27th of October, next week, Sunday. If you want to be part of the dating party, all you need to do is to text Lagos dating party to 081 845-75-377. Just text the Lagos Dating Party. Thank you guys for being a part of my show tonight. You can follow me on all my social media platforms. I am Dr. Tolu underscore the fixer. Dr. Tolu, Dr. Tolu. Somebody told me I searched for you, Dr. Tolu, on Instagram for four hours. And I was like, how come? So it's Dr. Tolu. I don't think it should be that serious now. I mean, if you put Dr. Tolu underscore the fixer, you're going to see me coming out live on Instagram and on Twitter. And on Facebook, I am Itimisi Clinic. And of course, do not forget to follow 99.3 Nigeria Info and Wazobia Max on all our social media platforms. If you have any question or partnership uh, plan or anything you want to ask me about this show, just walk into my website and fill the contact us form intimacyclinic.org www.intimacyclinic.org Thank you for being a part of my show tonight. Have a suck sex full night. Bye-bye.